Salaries for highly skilled professionals could boom amid a skill shortage in the region. That's according to a new survey by Corn Ferry, and it's the subject of today's edition of Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence, and I'm joined here in the studio by Corn Ferry's Danny Linders. Danny, welcome. Thank you. First, tell us about the report, if you would. Yeah. So the talent shift um, is our latest report in the series of the Corn Ferry Future of Work project. Yeah. And what we did in this part of the research, we spoke to over 1,500 business leaders, including in the UE, and we asked them to share with us their opinion about the workforce of the future and what, if anything, they are doing to prepare for it. Mm -hmm. um, now, earlier this year, um, we saw and we really quantified the skilled talent shortages in a report called the Talent Crunch. And here in the UEE, it is expected that the shortage of skilled talent is about 110,000 professionals by 2030. Uh, that's a reality. It is widely accepted by the UEE business leaders, so they're quite realistic about it. Um, and what we did then in this report now is that we started to look at what are the reasons behind some of the talent blind spots. Right. So tell us about this talent blind spot. Why is it there? So the talent blind spot basically comes out of three key reasons. And the first one is the transformative or the promise, let me put it that way, of transformative technology uh, is so compelling that business leaders are being distracted by it. So they see technology as the best way forward to meet their business demands. Mm. And that means that kind of the people problem goes to the bottom of the list mm. and business leaders are really underestimating uh, talent as an organizational risk. Right. So right. that's one of them. Um, secondly, what we also saw is an inability to plan for the future. Right? Business leaders find it very difficult to look into the future and to predict what roles will look like and what skills they need. Mm. And here in the UAE, we had 60% of the business leaders sharing with us, we've never planned for a talent deficit. That is new to us. So there's a lack of experience with that. And then finally, what we saw um, is, and, and we unfortunately have to call it, it's a lack of confidence in the existing workforce. 48% uh, of the UAE business leaders do not have the confidence and the ability to retrain and, and upskill their current workforce. And it was simply that 50%, so half of the business leaders said to us, we think that one third of the workforce is no longer needed in little more than a decade. And we think 20% of roles will be absolute. Wow, so if I could summarize that, everybody knows that technologies are coming, new technologies and everybody knows that that's going to create a, a big shift, but companies are more just assuming that the technology will replace the jobs so they don't really need to worry about the workers, just more focused, they're more focused on the technology themselves. Uh, but actually, it's not really about one or the other, they've got to do both. So why aren't they upskilling these workers? What, 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 where, where's the gap in imagination here? Well, one thing that we realized, and, and business leaders were very honest with us about us, is there's a, there's a discomfort around people planning, mm. right? So this may not be tackled, and some could absolutely be in denial about the unchecked talent shortages. So it's kind of saying, we don't know how to do it. Um, the technology is so promising that they get distracted from this problem. That's exactly, one. Exactly, yeah. Um, but we truly believe technology needs to work in partnership with people, mm. right? Because at a certain point, people and other companies will catch up with your technology. So to have a competitive edge, it's the people that are gonna make that difference in the long term. Mm. And I think technology may be a short term competitive edge, but long term, the two need to go hand in hand. Right, fine. Uh, were there any other conclusions that you drew from this report? Yeah, one thing that we saw, um, and very positive, is that in the UAE, uh, they're still the most favored strategy is still to pay a wage premium. So where 42% uh, of the business leaders said to us, um, we still like to pay a higher salary to keep our good people. Um, but also, and I think that was a positive side, 
is they are investing, almost half of them are investing in an employer value proposition. So they're really starting to realize we need to get a stronger employee brand, mm -hmm. right? To attract people, to retain them. Uh, so we thought that was very encouraging. Um, and some of this was absolutely higher than we see on the average globally. Mm -hmm. So uh, for example, if we looked at strategic workforce planning, globally only 9% have a talent forecast thinking as far as ahead as 230. The UEE had 15% of companies have this talent forecast in place. So that was a very positive sign. That's great, that's great. I want to um, bring one final point to the table here, and that's that was raised at the Arabian Business Forum last week, which you, you guys kindly participated mm -hmm. in. And that was that if we talk about technology, we lose sight of the fact that companies' successes is always going to be based on this, the skills that they've got with their people in the organization. Skill, having the right skilled people mm -hmm. is always going to be the heart of any company's success. So it's kind of everything's changing, but nothing's changing in that respect. Well, to me, we need to think about skills and building capacities in the future. Mm -hmm. So that's absolutely right. There are certain skills I do not believe technology can overtake. Mm -hmm. And the three key ones is social and emotional intelligence, mm. uh, negotiation skills, and creativity. Mm. So I think technology can do a lot, but it can't do everything. And right. that's why I think yeah, we need to work very closely together. It's not one without the other. We can be much more successful if we really merge the two. Great. Well, Danny Linus, thank you very much for that. Thank you. You've been watching Inside AB. Please do let us know your comments. Do you think there's going to be a skill shortage? Do you see your wages going up or down in future? That's a very good question for a lot of us. Um, do comment, subscribe, share, and we'll see you next time. Bye.